If you are fortunate to have any system restore discs in your retro computing collection, then it's important that you consider checking to see if disc images exist on the Internet Archive website www.archive.org. And if they're not on there, create some disc image backups and get them uploaded to help out current and future retro computer collectors who may not have copies of the discs themselves. In this quick video, I'm going to show you one way of creating a disc image and how easy it is to upload to the archive.org website. So here I have some Compaq Restore Discs. Compaq, um, call theirs the Quick Restore Discs. I think there's two inside here. Let's have a look. Yes, there we go. Da -da -da -da. System Recovery Application. Application. 195263. Oh, they're two different. Ah, right. One's 95 and window. One's 98. Okay, that's cool. Right, let's start with 95 then. That's this one here. Put the disc in. Let's see what happens now then. The program I'm going to use to create a disk image is called ImageBurn or IMGBurn. Now I suspect the compact disk is going to um, try and auto run, yeah, but we don't want that, so I'm going to quit that straight away. Yes, goodbye. Right, it's very simple. Create image file from disk. You click on that, you choose the optical drive that you've got, and it shows you there that's where it's going to going to save it so um, I'm going to make it a bit easier I'm going to save it to the desktop there we go compact armada system restore disks there you go the file name is picked it up of uh, from the CD-ROM itself um, and that's the name that the uh, compact has given the disk so I'm going to keep it as that in case that's something somebody's searching for. Okay, you press save. And then when you're ready, you press this big button just here, like so. Now you wait. Now this might take some time, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed things up. Vroom. We're back, look. Successfully completed. Let's eject the disc. And we'll do the same with this second disc for Windows 98. Just wait for it to detect it. There we go, we do what we did before, change the destination, but we'll keep it the same name. Let's press that. And now we wait. Well, I say wait. Let's speed it up again. Zoom. Zoom. And we're back. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. There we go. That one's done. Let's press OK. Close the program down. Eject the disk. Put it away. Don't want to lose it, do I? What we need to do now is upload them to the archive.org website. So let's open up the website here. I'm using Firefox on Windows XP. And there we go. I'm already logged in. Top right-hand corner of the screen, you can't quite see it. There's an upload button. If you click on that, you then get share your files, click on the update files button, choose the files to upload, and there they are, Compact Armada System Restore Discs. Um, we've created two disc images, and they're .bin images, um, and they also come with the .q file, C-U-E. Um, so that's why there's four and not the two. So let's press 
open description these are compact quick restore CDs for the compact Armada series laptops keywords um, I'm going to put compact quick restore um, system restore disks and compact armada there we go collection um, software test item no language English what we got under more options no that's just adding on let's scroll down here and have a look upload Oh, it's because I've added that. I need to take that away. There we go. Try again. Upload and create your item. There we go. It's now going to upload 1.4 gig. Now, as before, time to fast forward. And there we go. All uploaded. Yeah, sorted. Done.